Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm going to do a lure review on a buzz bait this week. This week it's going to be on the GANS Stealth Series buzz bait. Um, I've uh, fished with these for a little over a year now. Uh, they're fantastic and I'm going to show you a close look at them for the people that haven't uh, even heard of this brand before. Alright guys, so the GANS Stealth Series buzz bait. We have... Um, in the series, uh, they have two different sizes. They have a three eighths ounce size and a half ounce size. Um, and in those two sizes, the the length and the blades are the same size. The only difference is the actual head. But I'll show you the head design, uh, the head size here in a second. So um, the first thing that you're going to notice about this buzz bait is this offset that they have here. Um, Instead of it going straight, it goes down like this, and this thing is cocked up a little bit. So um, just seems to help it uh, get this thing down underwater a little bit more um, and maybe ride a little bit more flat like this. If, if it was straight, it'd probably ride a little bit more like this, I guess. I don't, I don't know why exactly it does that. I'm, I'm taking a guess as to why they do that, but it, um, this buzz bait is one of the truest running buzz baits, if not the truest running buzz bait that I've ever used. Um, I use these ones primarily. I have some others, but these are the ones that I primarily use just because if you throw them in a spot and you want them to run straight back to you, these will do it. And I think most of that is attributed to this large blade. Um, now these are extra loud. Uh, they, they, they do come with a clacker, or you can get them with a clacker. This particular one doesn't have a clacker on it, but you can get them to come with a with a clacker if you want. Um, I don't think um, I, I've never really liked clackers. In fact, the ones the buzz baits that I that I bought in the past, I usually uh, grind the clacker off just because I like it to be a little bit more subtle of an approach. I want to get more strikes, and I feel like if it doesn't have a clacker on it, it'll it'll get more strikes on it. Um, they come with, uh, I don't know what size this is, but this is a, um, a Gamakatsu hook. Let's see if we can focus on it. And it is a plated one too, so they don't rust or anything like that. The other thing that you're going to notice about the Gans is that they are hand tied. The skirts are hand tied on there, uh, which is fantastic. They put a, a very very extra durable knot on there and they are not going to go anywhere another thing that you'll notice is that uh that trailer keeper if you choose to use a trailer on your buzz baits it has a trailer keeper on there just like their jigs and just like their spinner baits do um the biggest thing that uh that you'll notice outside of the blade is the head design you'll see that the head design is rather flat and then you turn it to the side and it gets really, really fat. It's got those two three-dimensional eyes on it. Um, this head, because of the fact that it's flat, helps it get up on plane really, really quick. So the fact that it has an extra large blade on it, and then it also has that flat head, this this thing uh, comes to plane very, very quickly. Um, I use half-ounce bu uh, buzz baits. If you use a three-eighths ounce buzz bait like this one, this is the other thing I was going to show you, is that... I don't know if you can even see. Let me show you the two colors side by side. This is the half ounce right here, and this is the three eighths ounce. Uh, because the three eighths ounce is even lighter, it is like instantly coming up to plane. However, if you use the half ounce, you can cast them a little bit further, have a little bit more control. Uh, for me, if you if you cast them harder, they won't helicopter as much as a as a, um, a 3 8 ounce one just because it's the 3 8 ounce is a little bit lighter and so you don't want to throw it as hard but with the half ounce one you can throw it a little bit harder and uh, because of the fact that it has the the flat head and that big blade on it it will come up on plane very very quickly and I really really appreciate that when I'm fishing a buzz bait. Uh, the other thing that I that I notice about these is that they have a few extra strands that they left on here. You can see that they tie them and then they cut the remaining strands here, and then they leave about looks like five strands here to trailer out the back. And all my other ones, I've actually I've actually cut 
all my other buzz baits to about right there. So just below the hook. But um, you can leave these on. It just leaves a little bit of extra. Um, I think this also helps if you run a uh, trailer hook. If you run a trailer hook on here, it'll help kind of hide that trailer hook a little bit better. So that trailer hook goes right there. And it'll kind of just get lost in the tassels here in the skirt. So fantastic buzz bait. There's not a whole bunch to say uh, um, about buzz baits because they are a pretty simple design. But uh, these guys, they got it right. So um, check out the Gans Stealth Series Buzz Bait. I'm going to go over some of the colors that they have. This uh, particular color right here is called the 50-50 color. I keep my Buzz Bait selections fairly simple, but they do have uh, several different colors. I think they have maybe a dozen colors. You can find, I know you can find eight of them on Tackle Warehouse. But if you go to their website, they've got some on there. And then... Um, I know they've got, they've even got some that aren't even on their website. If you go to ganstackle.com, Gans Performance Tackle, I think is what it is. Ganstackle.com. If you go to ganstackle.com, they've got, uh, let me see here. They've only got five on their, on their website, but some are different from the, from the ones that are on Tackle Warehouse. And I know for a fact because my, my shop here in town sells these exclusively. And, uh, uh, they've got a couple uh, colors that aren't on Tackle Warehouse too. So, but anyway, I, I do keep my color selection fairly simple. This is a 50-50. 50-50 is just, uh, it's got the white uh, silicone skirt on the bottom. And then it's got a chartreuse on the top. And the head design is chartreuse. And then on the top and then on the bottom it's white. So it just gives that little bit of extra color for brightness. Uh, before you want to go to all chartreuse. So if you have like slightly stained water, this is a perfect one. So this one's called 50-50. The next one here, which is one of my favorites, another kind of a light, lightly stained water. This is a uh, this is Lightning Shad. Lightning Shad has the uh, scale pattern back. So you can see like the scale pattern on the, let me focus on it. You can see the scale pattern on the, on the, on the silicone on the back. It's like painted on there. And then you turn it a little bit, you got some, a couple little pieces of light chartreuse in there. It's just a light chartreuse. It's not as, not as dark as the other one. Um, and then you have this like pearl white on the bottom. You can see all the flash that's in there. You can actually feel it when you run your hands. You can see your, your, um, you can actually feel it when you run your fingers through the skirt on here. So anyway, this one's called Lightning Shad. Lightning Shad also has that um, that dark gray back, and it's got that white belly. And then the uh, other color here I have is called Black Glimmer. And Black Glimmer is just like that late evening or early, early morning color. And uh, it's just an all black head and an all black skirt, but the skirt has a scale pattern on it with like glitter. So it's got the... It's got a little bit of flash in it as well. This is a fantastic color for, I've used this color really, really early in the morning, like in the, in the late, late summer at like, um, you know, 5, 5.30 in the morning when it's still really dark outside. Throw this color out there and you'll catch some monsters. So this is a black glimmer. And like I said, the other one that I have, I've got two of the of the 50-50s, one in a 3 8 ounce and one in a half ounce. One in a half ounce. Um, so check these things out, you guys. If you're looking for a buzz bait uh, that that runs true, and when I when I mean runs true, you want one that runs straight. Check out the uh, Gan Stealth Series buzz bait. This is a fantastic buzz bait.
And uh, the contest is going to end this Sunday. I went ahead and got a Spro Bronze Eye Frog. There it is. I settled on the natural green color. Natural green should work anywhere. So this is the one that we're going to be giving away on Sunday. So that's, uh, that's going to be tomorrow. So anyway, check it out. Comment, rate, subscribe, please. Thank you very much.